Now we might want to add length to this parameter as this is a square tube. And we can also read that in in the same manner. I'll hit uh, close. I'll go finish my sketch. I will hit extrude. And I'll just make this 10 inches long. There's my profile. I'll hit OK. Now I can twist this around a little. I'm holding down my shift key and the center mouse scroll wheel, if you will, to turn it around slightly. So here's our square tube. Now I didn't give this a name, which is not a problem. We can go into our parameter and the 10 inch one, I can select my D3 and say length or long. To make it short, I'll use long. Now I'll go through and say it's for export. I will right click and say custom property format. And I'll do zero per precision and I'll uncheck the unit string. I'll say OK. Now notice how we spell the name in the parameter. I need that to get it read in correctly so I can hit done in this case. I'll right click I, I part my part. Go to my I properties. Now I want to see what I had, so I'll go to custom and we can see that long has become a part of our selectable values. I'll go to project and to add this parameter, remember again to click the FX at the end. If you don't, what will happen is your equation will fall off and your FX will go away. So FX, it'll show you the parameters. And then I can hit open bracket long. And hit length. I'll hit enter again. And that'll give me the length. I might want a little line or something here. I think I'll add that FX. Just hit a little in between and hit enter so you can format these however you like however you feel I'm gonna hit close I'm gonna save my part I'll save it as square tube and I'll say save Now, the next step we might want to take is making this thickness a multi-value parameter. And we can do this by going into our parameters and right-clicking again on the thickness. So I'll open my parameters. I will right-click on thickness and I'll say make multi-value. This dialog box comes up and here I can add multiple values to this parameters, which will give me a pull down menu. So in this case, I might have three different thicknesses, let's say a quarter, a half inch and three eighths. So what we do is we type in, well, we already have a quarter, so half inch and I'll say add. I might want three eighths. I'll say add. And we can leave it for that for right now. I'll say okay. 
Now you can see this thickness became a pull down menu, which lets me pick the thickness of the tube. Half inch. I can go into my parameters again, make it three eighths. You can do that to several of the values if you wanted to. If you wanted to use that on your square tube itself, maybe on the length, you can do that again, right click and make multi value. This makes it faster for you to change out the size of your pipe. And we already know this is going to be read into your parameters. So it's a quick and easy way to make your parts a little smarter, a little faster to work with. I'm going to say done on this for right now. I'm going to hit save.